Yo, Buzzy Beth here. Today, we're going to go ahead and continue on in learning how to add custom uh, things inside of our bubble chat. So last time, we go ahead and set it so that we were able to, you know, have different fonts, different text color, background color, duration, and so on and so forth. Today, I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how you guys can add your own custom background images for your bubble chat. So what I mean by this is instead of like a background color, you have a image. Think of it like an, an image label, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is set it, a background image is equal to, I'm gonna go ahead and create a bracket. I'm gonna set the image is equal to, go ahead and whichever uh, asset ID that you have for your image, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to here. So for, if you guys wanna use custom images, I recommend 400 by 200 pixels. Um, to get the perfect cut and then I'm gonna go ahead and set the scale type of our background image to uh, let's do a slice perfect yeah slice so that um, the boundaries can automatically be set on our image so it's like it'll create its own border and then we're gonna go ahead and set our slice center to let's say 40 40 um, and then let's do, what was it? 360 by 160. So I got those numbers on the Roblox website uh, because they also use a 400 by 200 pixel image. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my slice scale to 0 0.5. So let's actually go ahead and test it out to see if it even looks good. <laughs> All right, my chat is huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so let's just test it out. Type in, yo. Okay, so that does not look right. So you see how there's like circles on uh, the corners? We want to disable that. Yeah, that does not look good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop back inside of my script. Okay, so what I wanna do is set the corner enabled equal to false. And I don't really want to see the tail of my chat bubble. So I'm gonna go ahead and set tail visible as equal to false. I do want to add a few more things. I'm going to go ahead and set the padding of my chat bubble. Uh, let's do 30 and see how that looks like. So basically padding is the space in between from the, uh, the text and the entire box. So you see how there's so much space now. Um, if obviously if that's too big, if you don't like that much space, um, change the padding and change the text size. Go ahead and customize it to however you want. Play around with the numbers. As, as you guys can see, I'm just playing around with the numbers here. I think that text looks, yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, how cool is that? You guys can just edit the chat bubble settings. But yep, yeah, so feel free to, you know, uh, play around with the uh, settings here, the numbers, the booleans, until you're happy with it. And that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website. Link in the description down below. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.